So you saw the title of this video, How to Release Bottled Up Emotions. Is there really a safe way to do this? You know those days where all of a sudden you unload a whole bunch of emotion on one of your kids? Or maybe you, you unload all this emotion on some innocent bystander. And then afterwards you're asking yourself the question, how come I can't manage myself? And you can, you can really notice that you were out of control in that moment. Like literally your emotions took over and you were out of control. I'm here for you today because you are in a place where it's time to really start to know how to manage these emotions so that they don't pop up and unload on somebody in an unexpected moment. And you probably have seen it when, when you have done this, what it does to the other person. And it takes days to get over it. Can't believe that you actually were that much out of control. Boy, do I know this scene. I, I, I know this really, really well about my life and about where I was. I didn't know much about emotions. I didn't know where they came from, what they are, how they work and really how to, how to manage these things so that you can actually be better at this and not be out of control. But to be able to be in that management place, that mastery place where emotions don't run your life, where you literally are choosing the emotions, not the emotions controlling you. So let's talk about where this comes from. You know, emotions, we can, we can generate them on the inside of us. Other people can actually unload their emotions on us and those emotions get inside of us. Well, let's, let's talk about the damage that this causes. When, when somebody unloads emotion and it dumps in on a person, that emotion literally fills up their personal space. It gets in their body, gets around them, and that emotion fills up. And when this person has that emotion fill up clear to the top, when they get hit the top of all the emotion that they can handle, what happens is this person has a moment where they have to dump or unload the emotion on somebody else. And the number one target to unload motion, emotion is on other people. So now this person's full, so now it starts to spill over or they just literally dump it on somebody else. Now if that builds up, maybe this is mom or dad and this is mom or dad, they're dumping back and forth on each other. But when it gets full and they're both maxed out with emotion, guess who gets it next? It spills out over on top of the kids. Now those kids, they don't know what to do with that emotion. They don't know what to do with this adult style emotion. And so the only thing a kid knows how to do is to act out that emotion. Almost like they're, they're burning it like fuel. And so the kids, they, they don't know how to manage emotions, so they just burn it up as fuel. So if somebody has, a child has a bunch of negative emotion in them, they're gonna act out, be disobedient, uh, disrespectful, and it's because they're just trying to get rid of all that emotion that's in them. That probably is being passed back and forth between the parents, and now the whole entire family is infested, or the whole office is infested. So somebody in this process has got to do something different. They got to do something different because unloading your feelings on other people just doesn't work. It doesn't work. And what we're doing is we're just passing this negative emotion back and forth between siblings, between you, know, you and your spouse or you and other people at work, and it just doesn't go away. Somebody's got to take that emotion and take it somewhere else and get rid of it. What if instead of dumping it on a person, what if this emotion that was all filled up inside of you, what if it came out and it went on a piece of paper instead of people? I think that's a good idea. I think we ought to manage our emotions out on paper instead of on people. Wow! I think that's a great move that we all ought to start doing. Because I don't like it when somebody unloads their emotions on me. It's like, wait a second. There's years of backed up emotion in that person and here they are unloading it on me. So really, the place in our life we really ought to be the most responsible is how we manage our emotions. And if you don't manage your emotions well, I think today's a great day to get started on that. 
So emotion mastery, first, you, know, you gotta understand where it's all coming from and how this all happens between you and other people. And be the kind of person who makes a change and literally, instead of unloading emotion on people, we unload it on paper. Because it's a lot safer. It'll keep your marriage together, it'll keep your family together, it'll keep your business together, it'll keep your employees working better with each other if they can learn a technique of how to get that emotion out and not have it being dumped on people. Another thing we've got to stop doing when it comes to managing our emotion is stop blaming other people for making us feel a certain way. If somebody else makes us mad or makes us upset and we actually talk that way, like, oh, so-and-so makes me so mad. They don't make you mad. You're the one who makes the emotion. <laughs> it's you. This right here, the reason why people blame emotions on other people is so that they don't have to do anything. Because if we actually owned our emotions, we would not say somebody else is making me mad. Because that is, that is giving them all the power and all the authority about how we feel. But your move starting today is to stop blaming other people why you feel the way you feel and actually begin to have ownership over your own emotions. You can't fix what you can't see and as long as you're blaming, you're blind to what's going on inside of you. So stop the blaming that nobody else makes you feel a certain way. You're the one in charge of your emotions. The other thing is stop making the excuses. Stop the excuses of why you're stuck in an emotion. There's, something has to change here and part of being in a, an emotional management state, it means that you're not blaming, there's no excuses, and you're not gonna unload on people. These are the three biggest reasons why people are emotionally out of control. And I bet you know a few people who are like that. <laughs> so this is what you start doing. This is how you take and, and get a really good start at this so that you can make a difference in your life. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna start having daily unload techniques. Now what does that look like? What's, a, what's an emotional unloading technique? Super simple, really simple. It's something you can start like right now. You pull out a pad of paper and write down how you feel. All those negative thoughts, frustrating, discouraging, sad, embarrassing, aggravating, ticked off, all those emotions, everything that's going on, just write it all down on paper. Super easy. You can grab a pad of paper right now somewhere next to you and begin writing these things down. And so now you are unloading on paper, not people. If you wait and you don't do this, you're gonna unload on a person. And when you unload on a person, you're going to hurt them. Don't do it. So daily unloading is write it on paper, tear the piece of paper off, throw it away. Another way to do this is go for a walk. Go for a walk, go for a 10 minute walk and just rant. Completely just complain, but nobody's around to hear it. You're not dragging your spouse with you or kids with you so they can listen to you complain. No, you're just verbalizing it. So you either write it or you verbalize it. Now, another thing you could do is you could actually exercise it out of you. Go do a really intense exercise and kind of mumble and grumble the whole way about things and you'll burn that energy off. Remember, we unload on paper, not people. Don't hurt people. Emotion needs to be managed. Okay, second thing you gotta start here is be conscious of how you feel in every moment. Now, how do you do that? Well, right now, check in. Do some inventory. You know, do some inventory. Like, oh, how do I feel right now? Write down all the hurtful thoughts and feel, all the feelings and write down all your good feelings. Part of managing and getting better at this is knowing where you are right now. You, know, you, you get in your car and you check the gas gauge. You know, the, well, the other day I was driving home <laughs> just at the intersection down the street. There's a lady sitting right in front of me in her vehicle and she's not moving. So I pull up next to her and I roll down the window and Kim and I, we, we look through the window like, hey, you okay? And she goes, ran out of gas. And it's like, whoa, how'd she run out of gas? There's a gas gauge, unless it was broken, right? But there's a gas gauge. So where's our emotional gauges? Where are those emotional gauges? Do you know if you're reaching that top full level and you're about ready to explode on somebody, can you even gauge this? You can't gauge it until you start being conscious. So start paying attention in every moment, really how you are and how deep you are in these emotions. And then the last one is after you unload each day on paper or 
go for a walk or go exercise and exercise it out of you and you're being conscious, the next thing is charge yourself up with the emotions that you do want. If you want joy, then you pick joy all day long. You want to be happy, you be happy all day long. And if you don't know how to be happy, really easy, really easy. Find someone who is happy and act like them, <laughs> right? It's not difficult to, to charge yourself with an emotion. You just look around and go, oh, I like that person, how they're acting. I'm gonna call that happy, I'm gonna be that person. It is not difficult, but it is difficult when you are still wallowing in the full cup of negative emotion, you can't see anything, you're not gonna change. But daily unloading, just write down your thoughts on a piece of paper, throw it away, or go for a walk and rant every single day. Charge yourself with the emotions you want, because until we, until we do this, until you start doing something like this, you're gonna just dump it in someone else's cup. We need to unload on paper, not on people. Don't be part of the problem, be part of the solution. Hey, did you enjoy the video? Hey, what other ways do you know about how to release bottled up emotions? Comment below. Tell me what your ideas are or what you've found that really works in your life.